Oh, sorry, Mo. I almost uh, landed on you. Oh, hang on, guys. Just let me lock up here. We got a few seconds. I'm gonna try and show you something in 100 different, 123 different languages at once. Okay. <clears throat> I don't really know how you guys can make this out. I know I can't. My eyes are still. Oh, I should say my cones and rods. I still haven't recuperated from all the <clears throat> reactor pickup. It's just just like picking up dogs, only you know a little hotter. Okay, you know this is working. So anyhow, don't know if you can see it yet. This isn't going to screw up their experiments. There we go. Sorry, phase array. Sorry, drill. If I could have waited till you were finished your experiments, I would have. Quite clear enough. We can only get 90. 90x out of this piece of <clears throat> low tech. Okay, back to earth. are singing. Yeah. Go ahead, go out tonight. And yes, there's a full moon on the horizon. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this or not. Okay, I gotta get back to Mo. But I'll tell you about it anyhow. <coughs> Holy shit! Oof! Oh. Hey Mo. <laughs> okay, I missed you by inches that time, eh? Oh, I don't know where I would have been through all this. Hey, Mo. Okay, let's keep going and we're not going to have enough time here. Okay, back over the Harper. We're gonna have to hurry here. Okay, let's go. Just so wore out. You guys have almost put the fucking story together, so. Woo! <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, shot our mini hunter pop. De energize. Fair for field collapse. You guys see that sun dog? Go to space.com and you'll begin to understand the details. And as everything is, too complicated for mirror pictures. It has to be told in serially in degrees. You don't figure it out yourself, then I've cheated. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, this is gonna pick up the low light, but here we are, we can go in now. Basically what you're looking at here at the drill, <clears throat> was the more passive receiving version of harp. That's where it had its roots, and basically drill. At Weight Lake, BC, between Picton and Oliver, Penticton and Oliver, BC, Canada. That's British Columbia, Canada. Okay, well, they are running an experiment, which I probably buggered up to show you guys, but <clears throat> we'll just have to make it up to them, eh? Kindly requested they <clears throat> look elsewhere. It's time to describe the the entire local inter stellar cloud. Okay. <clears throat> I think we got enough. Oh well, guys. Okay. Um, hmm, how can I say this? Okay, again, I, I, I told many. <clears throat> a stick can be a good thing or a horrible, deadly thing. It depends to the two parties involved to make an action. <clears throat> Harps, no different. Okay, <clears throat> what? Could be used for lots of things, including a research tool for shit. You gotta know if you're gonna make the mandate of heaven. If your species is gonna survive long enough to begin paying the universe back for the life debt which it has incurred since its first <coughs> spark of life that was recognizable as Homo sapiens. Yeah, <coughs> that's your purpose. Okay, you gotta learn a lot to get there. Uh, always in keeping with the meaning of life, the first meaning of all life, survival. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> what you should be using harp for is just exactly what I told you. It's a, if you're going to fuck around without enough knowledge with your ionosphere, your thermosphere, and everything it affects above and below, it better be under emergency situations and not to dump <clears throat> the milk of the sun or the milk of your creator coming in onto your neighbor's lap. But <clears throat> to slow down the process, to dampen it so it can take its time coming in, and it in fact can add as a, <clears throat> um, a, a buffer zone for anything else ahead of it. So small one coming in, no problem. You might want to use that to play around. Push the atmosphere up, give yourself a <clears throat> A larger air gap which is your insulator as well as a place to absorb and dissipate cosmic rays cosmic particles okay I'm just gonna leave it at that for now I'm out of breath I got to get back out of this array like I said we're messing up some very expensive experiments
we gotta put our stuff on the table. Okay, they can't, they're all corporate stooges. We all know that. Put it on the table, lay the orders out to the politicians that you're paying to dedicate where your tax money is gonna to go to. You tell them and you tell them why, what your priority is, what your concerns are, and then <coughs> you tell them you're willing to help with everything you possibly can to get them to reach more efficient means of dealing with the job you hired them to, to do, the contract. Okay? Um, <clears throat> are you the boss? Is it your money? Okay, they're civil servants. <clears throat> totally out of balance with accountability and authority in both directions. Empower them. Empower yourselves first. Empower them. Help them understand <clears throat> what's expected of them and what they have to do. They'll work with you. Yeah, the procedures aren't exactly the laws in any of the lands, but that's because they're human. And it, <clears throat> We made corporations a living thing, including including the <clears throat> the arms of brass and the nails of unobtainium or whatever the hell you want to put it that are each and every corporate branch of what you mistakenly call your representative democracy. It ain't, never was, never could be. Got it? Yeah, of course this damn thing won't even focus. Yeah, doesn't matter. Good night.